Hello everybody, St. Lunkin' Sons Toys, and I have not yet seen a review of Nezuko up, but we just got her in. And here is the box art for Nezuko Komodo. Komodo. <laughs> uh, I'm really interested in getting her in her blood demon art form. I imagine this one, the articulation won't be as good due to her kimono, but I'm sure it'll turn out really good as well boys are eating some dinner they said daddy go ahead and start it so i figured i'd go ahead and start the video and here is nezuko in her package and she has her main body with some relaxed hands then she has two it looks like are those fist hands yeah i think they are I remember two of her like demon claw hands down there and then she's got an extra uh torso or no, that's uh, legs and waist for her to sit down, so that's nice that they gave it to us, considering her mobility may be a little hindered. She also comes with five extra face plates to go with her uh, face plate with her bamboo um, mouthpiece. She's got a really cute anime face here with her eyes, some closed eyes with her mouth open, open mouth, a really stern look right there. And another angry look. And she also comes with a set of hands to hold Komodo's, um, Tanjiro's uh, hand. So we'll put that on here towards the end. Let's get this opened up. We'll get Nezuko out first. And she's wrapped up nicely with some protective film. And first look at her. Really like the detail and the paint. I think it looks really good. And it's a soft, soft rubbery plastic for her kimono. And it's got some different slits in it everywhere to help give you some extra uh, range of motion. And then it looks like her hair is on separate hinges as well so see you can flare that out and she's got two pieces on the side that are attached and some draping down in the front and then these two right here are the ones on a hinge in the back so that gives you a little bit more range and mobility as far as like doing her head looking down she gets really good range for her hair. That looks good. Now, looking back or up, you don't really get much out of it due to the, her hair being there, but you could probably force it. And then for side tilt, you do get some decent range tilting her head to the side. Works really well. Now, as far as bending over, that's... If you use the, all the bends in the torso, you get about that much. Then bending back, she actually gets really decent range bending back. However, you get a ghastly gap there. So I would not suggest doing that. Unless uh, you're just trying to get in her, into a dynamic pose. Then for her arms, she has really good articulation with the arms, much like her brother Tanjiro back here. He had really good articulation. You can get some really sharp bends in the elbows. And you have an extra hinge in her sleeve. I'm sorry, my hand was in the way. An extra hinge in her sleeve where her hand connects. So you can get her arms into some really dynamic poses and it not look bad that's just crazy but it's very cool i really like that and her kimono has really nice um line work on it and paint they did a really good job on that she does have butterfly joints Which, you can, if you play with them, right now I got them kind of in a twisted, 
twisted motion, but you can get them to bend in fairly decent. Not as good as your brother, though. Then, of course, she does have a pop-up hinge, like her brother did. Then, and under here, you can force this out. Actually, I think you could... Whoops, a leg popped off. But it pops right back in very easily, so let me see if I can get a good look at it. There we go. All right, so I got it popped back in. They will f go out, but not very far. See how our leg keeps popping off? So I would be careful with that when posing it too too crazily. And I didn't pop the leg in again. <laughs> give me one second, everybody. This will probably be one of the most annoying parts of this figure is the fact that the leg bend isn't that great. But that's to be expected. I, I kind of figured that with the way it was uh, designed. You do have a hinge down here on her bottom part of her dress. Now she does have those single jointed knees. Like with the old Namek uh, Bulma. So it doesn't look that great right there as you can see. But it's still functional. And still works. And if her skirt isn't in the way she can still get... There goes the leg again. Okay so that's a big aggravation for me. This leg. Which of course... I guess it's not meant to kick like that based off... Oh, there it going again. Lordy. Okay, so that leg's going to drive me nuts. But I kind of figured that would be the case with this figure, the way she's made. But despite that, she you can get her leg to kick up. You're, you're not going to have great range with these legs due to the, uh, the way that it's designed. But if you play with enough, you can bend these out of the way and get, you know, a decent knee bend. I mean, you get good range on it. And she does have really good toe hinge as well. That looks nice. I like the way they painted her feet. She tilts up very good and back fairly decent. This little uh, rope design on the bottom of her leg guards gets in the way a little bit but you can also get extremely steep ankle rocker out of it so let's get a better look at her accessories and we're gonna get her next to her brother and put them to where they're holding hands so let me pause it real quick all right so i got Tanjiro and Nezuko's hand on that came with Nezuko in the package so they can be holding hands like in the uh, box art on the back right here took a little bit of patience putting it on and I am going to take her waist apart and attach her legs to this but that is her with her brother we got an extra copy of Tanjiro just so I could have them in the review together. And then here is a look at her faces, an up-close look. I really like these top two. They are my favorites, I believe. Get a good look at them. Although that one is really cute. I like that. That one is too. I don't know. I, I, I like them all. They're all pretty awesome. So let's get... Nezuko's hand off. Uh oh. Tanjiro, you ripped your demon sister's hand off. <laughs> so let me pop this hand on. So she's got her demon claw hands. Or I guess that's the best way I could talk about them. Now to replace her faces, her hair part. Sorry, Marm's getting in the way. Her hair part just pops off. You can pull her my darn hand, big old hands, I swear. Try to do it all on screen, but hold on. 
Ugh. I got these big old hands that are always in the way of everything. Now her her little bit does come off right there. You kind of pull it down. And then that should allow you to pop the face off. It's just a little hard to get in there with my big old fingers. All right. So there, got her face played off. And then you could pop on one of her other face plates. I need to take her head off, though. So that way I can move the bit out of the way. And then that'll just pop off right like this. I gotta get a little closer. So, just popped her head off, just like that. And this should just slide out. Yep. The little bit piece slides right out. I would take that on rather than um, trying to do it like I was just now. I usually try to watch other reviews before I do one, but this one is basically new. So, I haven't seen any other people do a review on this figure yet. Let's see. Get my uh, big old hands to put it back in there. It's so hard for me to see. There we go. Alright, so now we got her, her faceplate swapped out. And then for swapping out her body, you're going to pull this bottom piece off from there. So it'll look like that. And this just slides over top. So we'll take that off. And then you pull her legs out at the knees. There we go. So it'll look just like that. And then you pop this in here. So see there we got Nezuko's leg in. Let me grab this other one. Oh, there we go. Just be really careful. Use some more water when taking them apart. I usually always do it with uh, without, so that way I can get a good feel of how the figure is going to work and how well it is made coming uh, straight from the factory. But I was able to swap out her legs fairly easy. Whoops. And you just pop those in. And then you'll snap her upper torso. Let me get it in the right spot. Should go just like this. Hold on one sec. Alright, so there's a little flange in the back. I'll show it to you when I take it off here in a second. But it just snaps right down in there. And you can have her sitting down. So that's a nice little accessory that they gave us. Considering Tanjiro over here can get down with his knees bent. All by himself. So that's neat. And you see this piece right here? This tucked in to the back of that. Sorry. I'm going to get a better camera everybody. There's just so many cool things that's coming out that it's kind of hard to keep up with it. But yeah, that's how you'll pop it in and pop it out. And let's get her legs swapped back over. Alright, so I got the legs back on. Then you'll pull these little pieces down. And put this back over her right here. And pop her back together. There we go. So now we have Nezuko and Tanjiro in our collection. Let me get her to stand up. Stand up, Nezuko. Alright, so I got Nezuko put back together. And here's another close-up look at her. Next to her brother, Tanjiro. And her extra accessories for her legs. 
and you got her face plates here and those are all her hands so yeah she's really cute and really cool glad that we have her to go with her brother and i'm hoping the next version we get is of her in her more battle hardened um version when she's using her blood demon art with all the vines wrapped around her and maybe some cool effects would be awesome to come with it as well maybe an effect where they could attach it to Tanjiro's sword when she does the exploding blood demon art to help uh, cut off I think it was upper five's neck so uh or no upper upper four maybe I I can't remember <laughs> the ranking changed throughout the show but yeah I'm glad that we got her she's really cool looking and you know she's limited on some of her posability there she is next to Denji from Chainsaw Man and then here is my son's Super Saiyan Blue Goku. So there, there's kind of like a height comparison. She's a much smaller figure, but very cool still. And even though the posing is a little bit hindered, I mean, what can you really expect with the type of uh, dress that she has? But uh, I'm hoping for something really cool when they give us the next version of her. But I hope everyone enjoyed this video, and we'll have Ryu Tamioka coming uh, in September, and more and more stuff after that. So everybody have a great day, and thanks for watching. I hope y'all enjoyed our video, even though the boys are busy right now. I'm sure they'll jump into the next one. So everyone have a great day, and God bless. Kamehameha! Bye, everyone.